Hey, what's up everybody? Welcome to the video. In this one, I'm gonna go over the differences between Affinity Photo, Designer, and Publisher. Because maybe you don't know what you're looking for. And you know why I'm making this video? Let me tell you a story, okay? When I was a young, young fella, young lad, and I was trying to get into graphic design, I knew I wasn't, I didn't want to use Photoshop. I just knew it, right? So I found the Affinity Suite, but I couldn't figure out which program I actually needed for what I wanted to do. I was getting angry, I was getting mad, okay? I was losing my temper. So I went and talked to someone on YouTube who had a good following and I said, listen, I want to make cool stuff. I want to edit photos. I want to uh, uh, add text. I want to add shapes. I want to take uh, dogs, replace them with cats. I want to take chickens. I want to put them in casinos, right? How can you help me? What should I get? You know what they told me? Get Affinity Designer. But you know what? I didn't actually want Affinity Designer. It ended up being Affinity Photo, which I fell in love with. But I ended up downloading the whole suite because Affinity was so great and I was winning because they work all fantastically together in harmony. So uh, if you're not sure, if you're not going to get the whole suite and you're not sure what each program does, stick around Affinity, and I'm going to explain it right now and find out which program's for you. Ah, uh, let's talk about Affinity Photo, my first love. You know, she said she'd never hurt me all those years ago when we shared a milkshake and now as the years pass, I just drink oat milk and... Uh, and this got weird fast. So number one, it's for photographers. If you're a photographer and you need a super fast, lightweight, powerful program to edit your photos, you wanna use Affinity Photo. It can handle large file sizes. It can deal with various file types like RAW, and it has all sorts of non-destructive editing and retouching tools. So you can basically really refine and precisely edit your photos the way that you're looking for. Number two, if you're a digital artist, you can use Affinity Photo. Now this is a pixel-based program, um, but you can do all kinds of cool photo compositions. When someone says Photoshop something, that's essentially what you can do with Affinity Photo. You can use multiple photos, put them together. You can use masks, you can use live filters. Um, there's all sorts of tools built in to build basically whatever you're looking for. Whatever you can think of in your mind, Affinity Photo can do it. Now, and third, Affinity Photo is also for graphic designers. You can create all kinds of stuff. If you wanted to create a poster, you could do that. If you wanted to create a mock-up, you can do that too. There's a lot of bleed over between the programs, but um, this is really how you're gonna dial in your stuff using Affinity Photo, would be photography, digital art, and overall general graphic design. So that is Affinity Photo. Okay, now we're talking about Affinity Designer. Now, why did I pick this song? Oh, I don't know. Affinity Designer just kind of makes me feel like this. It's unlimited creativity. It's fun. It's fresh. It's all over the place. So uh, let's go. Let's talk about it. Okay, number one, I think it's for digital artists and illustrators. If you like to draw, if you like to create crazy designs, crazy shapes, uh, it's vector-based so you can blow it up to any size you want without losing quality, this is the program for you. Now, what else can it do? Who is it for? Well, it's also for designers that do brand stuff. So this could mean working with a company, designing all kinds of stuff. If you want to design a logo, you want Affinity Designer. If you want to mock up websites, you want Affinity Designer. Uh, if you want to do regular mock-ups, yeah, Affinity Designer. Uh, again, it's vector-based, so anything you create, blow it up to any size you want. It's also great for people that like to do UX, UI. You can lay out everything and see it all in something that they have called artboards. And these artboards, basically, you can create as many as you want. You can lay them all out, and you can see how things are going to look, like a logo in different colors for you or for the client. And can you create posters and stuff? Yeah, you can. So another cool thing about it, it also has a pixel persona. So even though it's a vector program, if you want to use pixel tools, go to that workspace and you got that too. Okay, so last, but certainly not least, the forgotten sibling, Affinity Publisher. Now, this program is mainly used for design layout. So if you're working on something like a magazine, this is the program that you'll want to use. Now it's Affinity program, so if you know one of the programs, all the tools and everything is very familiar. If you know one, you can kind of learn them all really quickly. And it's got all the things you need to be a layout powerhouse. You can do things like brochures, like uh, maybe this girl here, I think her name is Susan. Uh, you can also do books, book layouts on this. Everything you need for digital and print is what you would use this for for any set of layout and the really cool thing about affinity publisher is if you have a designer or um, photo installed 
you can jump to those workspaces. So if I was working on this document here and I wanted to edit this uh, photo of this leaf and isolate it, I could just flip over to the Affinity Photo workspace. I could make my changes, isolate it, do whatever effects I wanted to do to it. And when I was done, I could just flip back to Affinity Publisher. Okay, so I hope you found this video helpful and it cleared up some questions you might have about the different programs. We'll just do a quick summary. So if you're a photographer, if you take photos or you wanna edit photos and have control over those, or you like to build photo compositions, you should go with Affinity Photo. It's super powerful, super fast, and you're definitely not gonna regret it. Now, if you're an illustrator and you wanna work with vector graphics, you wanna uh, design logos, and you like UX UI design, you are gonna to wanna to go with Affinity Designer. Again, super fast, super powerful, has everything you need. And finally, as we just discussed, if you wanna do page layout, things like magazines or brochures or books, you're gonna to wanna to go with Affinity Publisher. If you know one of the pieces of software, you'll know all of them because everything is very familiar. Now, I just wanna say here, I recommend you get the full, they have a, a full uh, universal license. I recommend you get that because you can learn all the programs and just become a design powerhouse. Yes, you can build, you can do almost anything in all the programs, but they're, they have tools geared to specific things which are gonna help your workflow and make things go way faster. If you like this video, you know I gotta ask, I gotta ask you to tap, tap, tap that like button. And if you've never seen my stuff before and this video was helpful and you wanna subscribe, we can swap diaries. That would be great. And uh, thanks so much for watching. I'll see you in the next one.